Good morning, I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. I have a really fun video for you today. In my previous video, I spoke about what I think the trends will be this year and how to stay relevant with style in 2023. To summarize it quickly, I think individuality will be the biggest component in having successful style this year. I mentioned in that video that one of the things I'm doing that's new this year and individual to me is wearing skirts and that I just bought my first one. So today I'll be taking you through how to style a skirt as a man. I want to preface this by saying that it doesn't matter what gender you identify with when it comes to wearing clothes. I just realized I have like dirty laundry and stuff on the bed, so ignore that. Things are often labeled men's clothes or women's clothes, or there are more subtle cues about how things are meant for women or meant for men. At the end of the day, it's just some cloth that you're draping on your body, so it doesn't really matter. If you think something is cool, it doesn't matter what the label is for it. Without further ado, let me show you the skirt. The skirt that I picked up is a collaboration piece between two of my favorite brands. Those brands are Desec Machina and Grimici. Desec Machina is rooted in motorcycle culture, surfing, and cycling, and Grimici is all about climbing. Together, they've made this like utility type skirt. That's the only way I can describe it. Like I've never heard the term utility skirt, but this feels like a utility skirt. It has Grimici's climbing centric belt. It has a corduroy fabric that feels super durable and tough. It just feels like the Carhartt double knee of skirts, and I really like that. So as you can see, I have a crop tank dock bond. This is pretty high-waisted, and it goes down pretty far. It sort of fits like a kilt. It feels like a kilt, and it kind of looks like a kilt. The first method of styling this that I thought of is what I'm currently wearing, which is a tank top either cropped or tucked in, some big boots, and then potentially some accessories. Because of the shape of this, the silhouette is everything. So this starts up pretty narrow on my waist and flares out a lot towards my ankles. With that, I think a tighter top, something like a tank top or a tighter t-shirt does look pretty cool because it gives this bottom heavy aesthetic, especially with the boots that I think looks great. Now I've replaced the fitted tank top with an oversized t-shirt in some pretty garish colors. As you can see, this still works pretty well with everything else being kept the same. I think the boxy look of the t-shirt complements the silhouette of the skirt perfectly. This is giving a bit more of like a hippie, almost wizardy vibe, I think probably because of the tie-dye. Let's do a more neutral oversized shirt so you can see the difference. So this t-shirt is an essential tee from Abercrombie. It's oversized and it's a very nice neutral black color. As you can see, it's a pretty similar fit to the Grateful Dead t-shirt and it still works great. I feel like the energy with this is more art school than like hippie nature vibe with the tie-dye shirt. But with the same cut of shirt being oversized, a little boxy, longer sleeves, it looks really cool and it feeds perfectly into the shape of the skirt. Whereas the tank top ended here and we had a narrow silhouette to a very wide silhouette, this shirt meets the skirt right in my hips and it gives a more continuous and flowy vibe of the whole outfit. I throw on this chain, some rings, and a vintage Soviet wash to show a bit more of how I'd actually wear this out. As you can see, with accessories, this turns into a pretty complete and cool outfit. I think this still looks very masculine, I'm not mad at that. I think a lot of men, when they're considering something like wearing a skirt, might be concerned about not looking as masculine as they normally do, like what they're used to. I don't think this is too far off from wearing like wide leg trousers. The look is kind of similar. Granted, I do like to try to break away from that traditional masculine fashion mindset, but this is not too far away from the average if you're looking for something new to do. It's not too scary to try. Now, this whole time I've been wearing boots, let's try it with sneakers. The sneakers I'm wearing are a pair of custom Nike Air Force Ones I got from a campaign I did with them. And I'm not gonna lie, I think the low tops look a little bit goofier than the high top boots. These shoes themselves are some of my favorites, but with the skirt being higher up on my calves, I think I need a larger boot that's higher up to make it look good. If you have very high top sneakers, it could work pretty well, but I think with these, there's just too much of a gap between where the skirt ends and where the shoe starts. Now here's a look at a full outfit of how I'd wear this skirt out in the real world. The notable additions are the use of the bandana, the crossbody bag, all the jewelry, the watch, of course. Took the necklace off, it felt like too much. I switched the boots out for some unlaced combat boots. I think these look really cool. Also, note that I've only worn black socks with this skirt. Having that one part of my shin that is exposed also be blended in with the skirt with the black socks, I think is critical for having it look cool. But that's just based on my perspective and experimentation so far. If you feel differently, go for it. As you can see, this is a pretty cool look. I feel kind of piratey with this, which is a vibe that I like to go for. So from everything we've seen so far, crop tops, tight tops, and oversized tops all look good with the skirt. So let's try it on with a more normal t-shirt. I do think that both the cropped tight tops and the oversized tops are a bit more fashion forward. I have so few like average fitting t-shirts, I kind of like the extremes more that it took me a long time to find this one. But at the bottom of the drawer was this vintage tee and I think it gives a good idea of what a neutral fit t-shirt looks like with a skirt. It looks good, it almost feels as easy as a pair of jeans. Figuring out ways to style these really does feel a lot like styling oversized pants, especially with the flare at the bottom because the general shape is the same. I actually saw a pair of oversized pants at the store over the weekend and thought they were a skirt at first, so there really is a lot of overlap between the two things. A mini skirt would be different, but for this sort of thing, a longer kilt-like skirt, it does feel pretty normal and basic. 
I switched back to the tank top because I want to talk about how it gets a bit more interesting with layers. Now something like a hoodie, crew neck, or a nice sweater wouldn't add that much of a difference because they do fit kind of like t-shirts. To demonstrate that, I threw on a vintage sweater. Still pretty good, looks about the same. Where it does get more interesting is when you bring jackets into the equation. I think the same principle applies where you can have a more crop jacket, a jacket that lands sweater more in the middle, and a jacket that's longer. Each does something different when it comes to the overall silhouette of the outfit. Exhibit A is this cropped vintage denim jacket. This, much like the cropped tank top, meets the skirt right at my waist where it starts. This is what it looks like as a whole, and as you can see, the overall shape of the skirt is enhanced and highlighted by how cropped the jacket is. This follows the rule of thirds, where one third of the outfit is my torso and up, and the other two thirds are my legs, which are accentuated by how long and how wide the skirt is. The rule of thirds is big in photography as well as in fashion. Essentially what it means is that things that are split up into portions of thirds are more appealing to the human eye. So logically, a crop jacket that takes up a third of the outfit and leaves the other two thirds to something else does work in that scheme. Naturally, the next thing we want to do is try a two thirds jacket and one third skirt look. Here we have a thrifted Carhartt jacket that reaches down to about mid thigh. It does give a different vibe, it's a little bit more experimental, a bit less traditionally masculine because it sort of flows into a dress-like shape, but I think it still looks sick. To me it gives sort of like a wizard sorcerer vibe, which is kind of cool to play with. Here's the whole thing, you can see the rule of thirds being inverted where there's more jacket than there is skirt. That makes the outfit look more top heavy, which is not always as cool as looking bottom heavy, but I still think it's an interesting look. For something more middle of the road, we have this Daysec Machina work jacket. This might be my most worn jacket over the last couple years, it's an absolute favorite. And just like the more neutral t-shirt, it doesn't give them much of an extreme fashion forward vibe with the skirt. Here's the whole look, as you can see it sort of splits the outfit into two halves. It still looks great, it's just not as eye-catching as the long jacket or the short jacket is. As a quick bonus, I threw on this relaxed blazer from Uniqlo. And honestly, I think this is my favorite out of all of the four. It looks dressy, it looks punk, it looks edgy, it's the exact kind of boundary pushing I love the most in fashion. So, what's my overall opinion on the skirt, and should you get one? I personally love it, like I'm the kind of person that likes to push my own boundaries with fashion, like for a while that was wearing crop tops, that was wearing like shorter shorts, that was wearing bigger pants. Now with the skirt, it's opened up my eyes to things that aren't in the traditional shirt and pants vibe that most men fall into. There's nothing wrong with that archetype if you like it, but personally, I'm interested in what else is out there. So if you're also interested in aesthetics and garments that aren't within that traditional sort of structure of male fashion, I think it's definitely worth looking into. This particular skirt is excellent. Like as far as a garment goes, 10 out of 10. The belt is great, the fit is great, the fabric is great, everything about it's wonderful. It even has pockets, which is a huge plus. And even though this review and style guide sort of focused on a more slim male body with me as the one doing it, I think this garment and ones like it would look good on anyone. I don't think it's the most size inclusive piece ever. I got a large, it fits me great, I have a 30 inch waist, I think it could fit up to like a 32 because I cinch it down pretty tight, but I don't know if they have much larger sizes beyond that. So as I get more into skirts, if I have recommendations that have much more inclusive sizing, I'll be sure to share those. In any event, I hope that's helpful, thank you so much for joining me today, and as always, have a great day.